College is taking things virtual with its production of the musical take on Einstein's theory of relativity. Our Michael Bruno takes us behind the screens to see how it's all come together. So in the interest of our students, many of whom are vocalists, uh, I suggested that we consider doing an online musical and found the uh, musical theory of relativity, which was originally conceived and written for college students to reflect some of their life challenges. Um, and it seemed like a perfect fit for an online musical. So I proposed it to our theater arts department and they were happy to be supportive of the whole project. Person A. Person B. If A's position is seven miles from B, and A is walking at a rate of four miles per hour, and B is walking at a rate of five miles per hour at a 45 degree angle from person A. How soon will they meet? The musical has um, a dominant science theme. Altered it's about the Einstein's theory of relativity. I believe it's general relativity. Susan, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. That's right. <laughs> Pi equals 3.14 which is really about how one thing impacts another and also looks at the fact that as human beings, we are made of mass, energy, and light. Um, and using that Uber theme, um, it explores common challenges that young people have, challenges with love, challenges with uh, history, their background, their cultural background, with expectations their parents have of them as they enter the world um, with a college degree, um, challenges they have in figuring out their own personal identities. Um, so all of these things are explored through music and monologues and group numbers and tied together and woven with this idea of how we relate to one another and how relativity plays a part in all of that. None numbers are perfect like pi is 3.14. One Some things you count on like pi is 3.141. My character's name is Amy, and Amy in the musical is getting ready to go on a blind date, specifically with a physics major. And so some of the themes that that character explores are the pros and cons of going on the date, what she's going to say, what she's going to do, all while getting her nails done. <laughs> and how will the path of each person be altered by that contact? We have a student who did the bulk of our editing, Jade Proctor, and she has done an outstanding job. So this, when you look at it, it's hard to capture how many layers of rehearsal and recording were done to produce this piece. Um, but everybody contributed to that. We all learned how to do it. Um, I'm immensely proud of the final product, which will be released this Thursday evening. Without me. And Michael's here now. It is amazing the amount of work that goes into these virtual productions. It's astonishing and wonderful how all these, all these uh, colleges and high schools and theater companies have adapted to doing things virtually. It's, it's really impressive. This doesn't look like a college student production. This, this looks like a professional production. It's very impressive. It truly does. It's like she said, they, you know, they get the, these wonderfully uh, talented people that know things about how to do video and they piece it all together. And it really does look like a professional quality show. And you actually can reach a lot more people than if you were on stage. Absolutely true, because it's free and it's online, so you could reach a lot more people than you could by having, especially, you know, when it, you had to deal with weather and sports having to do with COVID, but they will reach a lot of people with this. It's really yeah, encouraging. Absolutely. It's the Theory of Relativity presented by Edgewood College, streaming tonight and tomorrow at 7.30. Go to theater Edgewood dot edu for more information it's that time of the week everybody <laughs> three two one it's it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> and there's jim hi jim hey how are you guys good, good to see we you miss you guys <laughs> someday soon we'll be all d be together again hopefully yes true all can't right. wait and it's okay. mark's birthday weekend this weekend so happy That's birthday right. early happy mark birthday. thank you thank you all right it's a big one
<laughs> Thanks, guys. 29. Yeah, 29 again. <laughs> so better slow down, Mark. All right, we'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.